Hey, watch it! Yeah, all that water is almost like a shower, and bandits like to be dirty. Sorry! You know, we could make the whole city dirty. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. But how do we do that? I'm sure there's a magic pet for that. <laughs> <laughs> With the power of this slimy magic pet called uh, Slimy, we will cover the whole city with slime! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> slime, slime, slime! We need to stop them, Morpho! Morph into. Not in my city, kids! What do you think you're doing? We need to catch the bandits. What you need to do is clean up all this mess you made. Mm, but... No buts, Missy. I'll be back in a bit to see if you've cleaned all this slime. Let's clean this up as quick as we can. Murpho have an idea! That's great, Murpho. <laughs> Now, let's go after the bandits. Oh, no. Look at all that slime. Uh-oh. Look, bandits. <gasps> They're about to slime Officer Freeze's car. Morphle, spray their slime away with your water. What? You two again. You can start cleaning the fire station right away. Okay, Officer Freeze. <laughs> wow! Look, Morpho. Every place the slime has been is much cleaner than before. It's like some kind of magical soap. Ah. Let's go clean up the rest of the slime. Didn't we just slime this place? Yeah. We cleaned it all up. And now we're going to clean you, too. Oh, no you don't. I know, Stein. I love it. <laughs> I'm training for the bull riding competition, but I only have this cow. Morpho, morph into a big bull. Okay, Morpho. This is the game. Farmer Bob is going to hold on as tightly as possible. And you try to do whatever you can to throw him off. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. Woo! 
Hippie! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Whoa! Morpho! No! Could ever imagine. Thanks a lot, Morpho. Something strange is happening. For the last few days, my chickens have been disappearing one by one every night. That's strange. Chicken thief! Let's go get him! It's a UFO! It wasn't the fox, but aliens! Can I offer you some freshly baked pancakes? They are quite tasty. Uh, no. Give back those chickens. But, but, you can't make pancakes without eggs. There are no egg beasts in space. I am so sorry, Earthling Bob. It wasn't my intention to steal your egg beasts. I mean chickens. All is good. If you promise you won't take my chickens anymore, you can come once a week and I will give you eggs. I promise, Earthling Bob, and in return I will give you some space pancakes. Look, Morpho, that elephant is stuck between two trees. Camel does 
doesn't have any more water to drink. Morphle, morph into an elephant. Now you can take some water from over there and use it to fill the camel's trough. Thank <laughs> you. 
apple. Morph into a monkey, too. Welcome to the Big House Building Contest. These are our contestants. The rules are simple. Build a very nice house from anything you like. Our house is going to be made out of stone. Ours will be made out of cotton candy. <laughs> we are going to make the best sand castle you have ever seen. Get ready, set, Go! Oh no! I forgot to bring cement. Now these bricks won't stay together. We have to help them, Morpho. Morph into a cement truck. Thank you very much, Morphle. Now we stand a chance again. Oh boy, this candy is not sticking together as well as I thought. <laughs> hmm, how do you think we can help them, Morphle? Honey! Yes, let's go get some honey. This is perfect. Now we finally have time to build our sand castle. Time's almost up, everybody. Oh, no. Wait, Morphle. I have an idea. Three, two, one, and that's it. Let's see what you have made. Ah, very nice. And sturdy. It's beautiful. Oh, and tasty, too. Wow, that's amazing. And so big. You 
deserve the award. Ha ha ha, you got me there, but you don't have a house, so I can't give you the award. That's okay. We're happy we could help the other team. Then I give this award to you for building such a tasteful house. Thank you very much. But I couldn't have done it without Mila and Morphle. And as a reward, you get to eat the house all by yourselves. Yay! Morphle, morph into a giant dump truck. Great. This giant Ophilus is way too big to fit in my magic pet delivery van, but this giant dump truck is perfect. Okay, bring the giant Ophilus to the junkyard. That's where his new companion lives. But be careful. Because the giant Ophilus can be very playful. Okay, Daddy. The giant Ophilus is so big. likes playing with cars. Yes, that's why I can use him here on the junkyard. Hmm. Well, I guess that's a fine place for him then. As long as he doesn't cause more trouble in my city. He's <laughs> the nerve. Can you believe this? No. Oh, what a day. Oh, what a day. Besides, I don't think I even have a jail cell big enough for him. Okay, Morphle. It's story time. Once upon a time, there was a mama duck whose eggs were about to hatch. When they did, little baby ducks came out. All of them were super cute and fluffy, except for one of the ducklings. It was different because it was big and red and it didn't have any feathers. And instead of quacking, it sounded like this. I is a duckling! It wanted to play with its brothers and sisters, but they said it was ugly and they made fun of it. Mm. Yes, the brothers and sisters of the duckling were really mean. It made the duckling very sad. So sad that it flew off to play by itself.
And when it was there by itself, all sad, all of a sudden, a giant dinosaur appeared. It chased the little duckling around. The little duckling flew for its life. There were big dinosaurs everywhere. Then it flew into the claws of a giant flying dinosaur called the pterodactyl. The little duckling was sure that the pterodactyl was about to eat it. But it didn't. Do you know why? No, Muffle, no, no. Because it was the duckling's real mother. You see, the duckling wasn't really a duckling. When it was just an egg, it accidentally rolled into the duckling's nest. The duckling grew larger and larger until it was just as big as its mommy. The end. Dino duckling, go see a brothers and sisters. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. So, the dino duckling went back to visit its mean brothers and sisters. And, they were bullying a new duckling because it had big feet. Yeah, and the dino duckling roared really loudly and it chased away its mean brothers and sisters. And they lived happily ever after. The end. My growth ray can be used to turn these small plants into big trees. That's so cool! Tumbling test tubes. The battery is running out. <laughs> oh, that's what I get for buying those cheap knockoffs. Ah, here we go. <gasps> Look! It's a giant bird! Don't worry, I'll shrink it back. Uh oh, it stopped working again. to a pterodactyl. A giant bird? Not in my... Uh, hey! Give me back my sandwich! I hope you get indigestion! He keeps looking for new food! Let's lead him out of the city! Farmer Bob's farm. Here, the bird has enough food to eat until Professor Rashid arrives. What happened to all my corn? There's only one cob left. Hmm. We can take care of that. 
Amazing. That's prize-winning corn right there. 